ever feel like sometimes I just don't want to talk about freaky stuff? Um, no. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't never not want to talk about freaky stuff. So what was it like letting your parents hear you talk the type of stuff that you talk in music? Um, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> my mama said. What's up? It's Kitty Red on the track, and this is my sound check. Shout out to Coochie Kang, period, the sponsors, and the Brothers Foot. Man. Bang. Sometimes, you know, I'm trying to tell them about the struggle, what it is being a girl rapper and stuff. And just like everything, just anything some girls were talking about, we lit, these dudes, these guys, these nigga. <laughs> but yeah, I talk about everything. My kids, just like everything. That's a little bit of everything. So have your children recognized that you're kitty red? Yes, my literally my kids been a fan of me. Since I started rapping, <laughs> it's like, it's crazy because I hear one of them go, freak, out of time. <laughs> but I'll be like, don't say that, don't say that. <laughs> and then my other little baby, he goes, trapping in my band. So it's like, they just kind of, that's what makes me know when song is like, gonna go crazy. So yeah, my fans, they know, my, not my fans, my kids know exactly who I am. And then they know when it's mama mode. Yes, because for real. Yeah, they, <laughs> they know the difference. So when it comes to including other subject matter in your songs, um, do you feel like talking about the things that are happening in your real life are a comfortable thing for you? Um, yes, because I'm a feeling rapper. Like, I'm always rapping how I feel. Like, I literally can't. Like, I got beats that I love so much, but I'm just like, I ain't in that song right now. So I can't really get on that kind of beat right now. But, you know, like, I have my good days too. So it's like, sometimes, I'm more like chill versus always being lit, but my chill is lit. So it's like, it's it's just cool. So it's like most of the time I'm in there rapping about how I feel. I about to get mad because how they did me at the club and I'm about to go talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like sometimes I be in my feelings. Like I got a heart too. So I be crying when my heart broke every now and again, but then I be fixing it back up and in the club bouncing that M. <laughs> so yeah. What do you do to make sure you're keeping your mental health solid? 
Oh my goodness, I pray. That is literally the only thing that, <laughs> but I pray and I kind of like listen to music. Like music helps me, not just am I a rapper, I love music. So before I was even rapping, I love music. Like I just, listening to music is why I thought I'd be a rapper. So like um, music helps me get through like crying. Cause once I get done crying about it, it's it, that's it. Like once I get them tears, it's over for that whole everything. So praying, listening to music and crying and just kind of like talking myself through it. Yeah, it ain't no one thing. Cause some days, boy, crying don't even work, it don't work. But yeah, it be, it's just like different little things. And candles, I don't know what a candle do, but a candle, does something make you feel like your whole yeah <laughs> the candle just changed my whole energy but yeah it's candles like different little things just kind of like and i'm good with like once i get away from what it is and it's like the biggest thing that helps me throughout it all is getting my hair done once my hair is done i don't care about nothing nobody talking about anyway <laughs> so i just get my hair done and that's it problem's over yeah her looks nice with it um uh, thank you we got we got to hook me up <laughs> What's up? You know, this is my little freaky tail. You know all that. <laughs> okay. Put kitty on the beat, I bet I fuck it. Shouldn't have let my baby daddy fuck and I sucked it. Oh, motherfucking well, I still want my bus bitch. These hating ass hoes always put me in they subjects. Mention my name, trying to bring the city out. Well, hand over my money, you do anything for clout. And yes, I am the baby, I'm the baby of the nap. I'm that town as fuck where you can't get no handouts. Don't need no motherfucker, what I said is what I meant, bitch. Thought that my bitches was my bitches, but they bitches. Thought that my niggas was my niggas, but they hit and miss. And fuck that label, cause that label, on that label shit. I need an in-house dick so I can fuck it. I'm trying to get real slim thick, the key to fluffy. I'm hot like Doritos, I'm the Taki, I'm that one bitch. I'm striking to my songs till I'm on, striking that spring. No, this ain't no freaky tell, this how I'm feeling. All I talk is freaky, well, bitch, I'm living. All I do is cuss, cause cuss is my religion. They don't think that I'ma make it, well, I'm closer than they thinking. Got a shot of beer head, that dick was beyond me, and now we acting unusual. That's the power of the P. He want one night of passion, he want one night of me. Well, I'm like, bitch. Where the fuck is your money? Yeah. <laughs> How do you stand out amongst other female rappers, especially with similar subject matter? Um, because I just I stand out because I don't kind of like I don't get who I am from other girl rappers. But I love other girl rappers, so it's like, I feel like I was already born with how I was going to be because of my mom and my daddy. Like, this, you know, like, they just accepted me for I am, so it's like the standout part is, is I ain't trying to look like nobody. But if I see something cute and everything is trendy, every girl got the same kind of girl ear. But I think the part that just stand out is because my mom and my daddy. <laughs> my mom and my daddy. What I got it from them. <laughs> what about your mom and your daddy? They just kind of like um, they help me be. They help me be who I am. But my mama being on me and my daddy being, you know, like teaching me the way. So it's like I ain't really no freaky girl rapper, but I'm freaky because I'm freaky. You know what I mean? So it's like I ain't trying to be freaky when I'm talking. And I wear color hair because listen, I told you my get my hair done does something for me. So half the time it's just creativity. So it's like. I'm not saying I'm just different from them, but I know that I ain't like them because I ain't trying to be. You know what I mean? But we definitely got similarities. Yeah, but I ain't like nobody. <laughs> ain't like nobody but my mama. <laughs> my mama. So what was it like letting your parents hear you talk this type of stuff that you talk in music? Um, I'm telling you, <laughs> my mama said, girl, this is you. I was like, yeah, like I ain't know, I didn't really want her to hear it, but I was like, hey, listen, I gotta get a family to see these, so you can have a year. And then like before, like when I first started rapping, like I went to my mom and my daddy. I was like, I, I'm a rap. 
But, you know, that's what all kids do. We be like, mama, look at this, and do a stupid dance. So, you know, they <laughs> listen to everything we say. So it's like once my daddy started saying, like, hold on, wait, people at my job is talking about Kitty Red. And then my mama would be like, listen, so I had to let them hear the music. So when they heard it, they was like, this what you talking about? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm going to make a song for you, though. Like, that's how I got around it. But my mama was like, she couldn't be mad. They didn't get mad. <laughs> they couldn't be mad because they agreed. <laughs> they pretty much agreed to it, but they just was like, Kitty. But they said my real name. But they just still like, really? And I was like, yeah, your girl like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, but yeah, I was like, listen, don't judge me. <laughs> what influence has the club had on your music and on your being able to gain traction in music? Okay, so um, the club has the biggest impact on me because... I've been clubbing since, you know, what's up? Like, you was supposed to be clubbing, so <laughs> it was like, hey, why is it this lit? Like, my mama told me I had to wait, and I'm like, uh-uh, this was lit. It was lit back then anyway, because I'm out of school. But it was lit, and it was like, um, it gave me my vibe. It let, it showed me how to party. So once I started meeting people, so it's like meeting people and then meeting celebrities and partying with them, I'm like, wait, it's way, it's different ways to party. So if you're in the club as an extra, you got a section popping bottles and it's like, it turned you up. So it's like the level it is in the club, it, it make you feel like on a certain different level in the club. So it's like my music came from, listen, we popping bottles, we bouncing at it, <laughs> you know what I mean? We throwing money, we look good, all my friends, these dudes just pay for all of us to get in, <laughs> and we got a section, so it's like, it was lit. So it's like, why not rap about that? That's a rapper lifestyle, we ain't even rapping yet. So it was like, it was like the biggest impact, cause it's like, it's my life. It became like how I came, became Kitty Red, like officially, <laughs> like for real. What's been some of your favorite parties in Indianapolis? Like just period or just like different events and stuff? Events. Like okay, like I started out with the Turkey Tuesdays. <laughs> it was like Turkey Tuesdays was lit. And then I used to work Turkey Tuesdays as like a waitress. And that's how my whole night, my actual personal nightlife as an adult <laughs> started it was lit so it's like listen on a tuesday night we going in the club and it's about to be everybody somebody in the bed and at least everybody and then sometimes somebody might slide through you know celebrity or somebody might slide through they bring in somebody booking somebody Girl, what they had celebrities definitely had celebrities you know what i'm saying but and it was like it was like one of the events like some girls could get up there like even if they wasn't a dancer you know like they Every girl wants to be a dancer because they like to bounce they am. You know what I mean? So it's like in Turkey Tuesday, they could do that and they could win. It was a contest, so it was like it was a dope thing. So it's like that is something to never forget because I started in here like this. <laughs> and it was fun. It's like worth your time if you're going to do it or if you're going to try. That's where you would want to try it. So it was like Turkey Tuesdays. And then it's like I'm a, I love strip clubs. I always love strip clubs. I just, it's fun. It's like, what other kind of vibe is it besides, you know, like a strip club? And then it was like, my little Sweet 16 birthday party I did. That wasn't a club, but I can't forget that. That was a nap. It was my first Sweet 16. So that and what was like the biggest thing? What was it like doing that event and realizing that all the kids knew the words to your music? Oh my goodness. I didn't even know I was that big of a rapper. Like, I was like, wait, what? How did y'all even know me? Y'all 16. So it was just like, it was a big thing. But I was like, okay, free. And they knew, like, free. And then they knew, like, a couple of my other songs. But when they sung, when free came on, I feel like I made it. I was like, okay, because what? Because how y'all know me like this? But it was a big thing. Like, they knew my song word for word. I couldn't even rap it. That's how. Much they were saying it, so shout out to Key Nation for that party because I would never forget that Sweet 16. That was the first one, and they went crazy treating me like a celebrity, <laughs> for real. I said, okay, I made it, officially. I'm that town, you know. <laughs>